Welcome again to the session techies. In this session, we are going to configure firewall rules for DNS. In the enterprise setup, generally operating system firewall is kept off because enterprise firewalls are there to protect the network. Because this is our lab setup and I don't have any enterprise firewall here. So I'm going to keep a local firewall running and I'm going to configure firewall rules to allow traffic on port 53 for both UDP as well as TCP protocol. You can see on screen uh, first I'm starting my named service then using firewall CMD because I'm on CentOS 7 and that same on Red Hat also I'm going to add uh, zone public and uh, adding port 53 for UDP as well as TCP as permanent connectivity which mean even my system reboots these firewall rules will be present after that i am just reloading the firewall configuration so my new rules will be activated once that is done i'm going to use nmap to test connectivity on port 53 on my dns ip which is uh, ending with dot 200 for both tcp and udp you can see on screen so let's begin lab quickly So let's check the firewall status first, whether it is running or not. In case it is not running, we have to start it. So you can see it's running, that's good. So let's start our named service. It's started, let's enable this service also. It should be enabled instead of enabled. Okay, it's enabled, that's good. Let's quickly verify status of named. Okay, you may be wondering what is named now. So bind service, bind is basically managed by named. So when you install a bind package, it creates a service with name named. So named is the service which we will be configuring going forward. You can see it's running, that's good. So let's quickly add the firewall rules now. To add firewall rule, I'm going to use firewall CMD, dash test zone public, add port 53 for TCP as permanent, that's done. So let's repeat this command here. We have to just change it's going to be UDP connectivity and permanent, it's done, that's very good. Now let's reload our firewall rules. That's done. You can see it's success here. It means everything good. Okay, next, uh, let's use nmap to test uh, connectivity. So to use nmap, you have to simply run nmap. nmap is utility, which is delivered by nmap package. In case this utility is not installed on your system, simply do em install nmap, and it is going to install nmap on your system. So let's do our connectivity test. nmap minus p is which port we want to test, 53. What is the destination IP 192.168.1.200, which is our DNS server IP here. You can see it is saying uh, state is closed and uh, it should be running. Why it is saying closed? So that's something which is worrying me. Let's quickly check why it is telling this. Okay, the best way to check why it is not listening on this particular IP port 53 we can uh, grab for listen on port 53 from etc name.conf etc name.conf is the file which is the main configuration files for bind or named you can see uh, here it is configured to listen on port uh, 53 for local loopback ip only that's the reason it is showing uh, closed but that's not a worry it this point because we haven't configured our name.com that's something we are going to do in our next section so we are good and to test udp connectivity that's very easy you repeat same command with use of s capital u this is going to check udp connectivity here again we are going to see a uh, port will be closed because that's not allowed in name.com that's something we can test in next section so I will keep this in my mind that we have to check it in the next section. So that's it in this session, guys. Uh, we will talk uh, 
configuring bind to accept the DNS request in next section. Thank you.